Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Apologies for this creaky old chair with a big fat man like Baz sitting on it. It's no wonder it creaks. So, Saturday evening, uh, been down Stonehouse this afternoon, uh, or sort of late, late afternoon. Me and the missus, bite to eat, had a few pints. I've just come home. I wouldn't say I've drunk one of theirs, but I'm halfway down it. And I suddenly got the urge to do a beer review. And it's a beer that I was kindly sent uh sent to me it was kindly sent to me from liam from deep in brews reviews so go and check his channel out if i remember i'll put a link in the description but it's deep in deep in brews reviews i've subbed to him you'll find him easy enough uh so yeah he, he sent me this one and i thought Do you know what i'm gonna give it a go i'm gonna have a crack uh get it reviewed and quite frankly apart from this beer that i'm doing and the other one I don't believe I've got anything else to review. So, and I'm running low on all the videos I've stocked up on. So what we've got is a new brewery to me uh, and it's from Pheasantry Brewery. Now, I'm not exactly sure where they're out of. I've, I've not looked, to be honest, I'm, I'm trying to see. Uh, Markham, I believe it is. High Breaks Farm, Lincoln Road, East Markham, Newark, Nottinghamshire or Nottingham. Uh, so yeah, it's from Pheasantry Brewery, like I say, and this is their Lincoln Tank Ale. And on the front, it says supporting the Lincoln Tank Memorial. So it's obviously something to do with the old sort of, with the war thing or whatever. Serve corn, cool, not cold. Water, malted barley, wheat, hops, yeast. Uh, 500 ml bottle, coming in at 4.2%. Let's just another quick look at the artwork. Very traditional and apparently it is a very traditional beer. Plain black crown. Uh, it's been sat on the side really. It's sort of room temperature. Uh, I'll put it in the fridge for about half an hour before. So it is, it's still pretty cool. But a traditional beer by all accounts. So there's the beer. I'm going to put it in a very much old school sort of glass. Also a glass that Liam sent me, which was very kind of him. Didn't ask for it, but he just whacked it in there. I think all it was, he was trying to get rid of some of his glasses, palm them off on Baz, but much appreciated nonetheless. So let's get it open, get it into a glass and see what we get. Like I say, I've still got half a Stonehouse beer on the go downstairs, which actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk and pour at the same time, or try to. Uh, what I'm going to do, if it looks like it's going a bit lifeless and dead by the time I get to it, I'm going to put it in a glass, whack it inside the physics, and try and uh, get a bit of life into it, make it look more inviting. But we'll see what happens with that anyway. But for now, Pheasantry Brewing Lincoln Tank Ale, 4.2%. Uh, so, beer in a glass. It looks, I mean, with, you're seeing the light on it there. It's looking very much sort of like copper mahogany sort of colour. I'm looking at, yeah, if I put it up against the light, I'm seeing exactly what you're seeing there. When I'm looking at it, it's dark. It's looking dark. But yeah, what you're seeing on the camera is probably a true, true reflection. Mahogany, copper looking beer, a few gentle bubbles going up, just about half a finger of white on top. It's slightly off white actually, it's not pure white, but it's looking very old school. We'll give it a swirl, go in with the nose and see what we get. Very grainy, malty. The first impressions were a little bit of that animal feed sort of aroma and it is kind of there but it but it's not the animal feed sort of smell that I think is nasty it, it's it's definitely a nice sort of brown bread and malty nose on it a little bit of toffee caramel maybe lingering in the background a, a little subtle sweet edge. But other than that, I wouldn't say I'm picking an awful lot up, but it doesn't smell bad. There's nothing horrible in there that I can smell. It smells proper old school. So it's probably a really good honest beer, or I'm gonna assume 
it's a it's an honest beer whether it's any good we'll wait and see but uh, a big thank you to Liam from Deep in Brews Reviews go and check out his channel Lincoln Tank Ale shut up get off the screen Lincoln Tank Ale 4.2 percent 500 mil let's dive in cheers no idea how much it costs by the way cheers That is nice. Proper trad, proper old school, uh, and and just a tasty drop without flashing, wowing you with flashy flavours or anything. Let's give it again. Four point two percent. It's light. You got to expect it to be light. Certainly that uh, that ABV, but because it is a real ale sort of thing, traditional, quite malty, it sort of fills that beer out. So even at 4.2%, although it drinks sort of lightish, there is a body to it. You, you know, you don't feel like it's missing anything. Carbonation for me is perfect. I think it's the sort of beer that's probably got to be drunk quite quick. It, this is not a sort of beer I don't think, certainly in bottle form, that you want to be sitting there for too long with. You know, because it is so sort of low in carbonation, that, that fizz is going to die down quite quick. So, I don't know. 20 minutes drinking this beer is probably that's probably at its best because of the low carbonation when that dies off after that it's probably going to feel a little bit dead but fresh new straight out the glass it's got a lovely mild carbonation the carbonation just it gives that beer a little bit of life but not too much that it fills you up but but just a little bit of excitement in it smooth soft the mouthfeel like i say with that low carbonation is beautiful proper old school trad sort of beer i'd say the more i'm drinking it now I thought it was very much all malt and it is still a big malty beer but now the palate's adjusting I'm really starting to pick up the hoppy notes in this beer it's, it's got a lovely flavour of hop in there alongside the maltiness and I think them two flavours combined really sort of just work well they work really well it's not over hoppy uh and, the, and, and what the hops do is they sort of just take the edge off the maltiness, but just give you that little hoppy bite to it, which is nice. It's a real nice combination. Malty hoppy. A little bit of toffee caramel in there, I think. Very, very subtle, but it's just there in the background, which is nice. You notice it. But again, you're not bombarded with it. There, there is a little bitterness in there. But that really comes along on the back end and it is very subtle. It's very much more, I would say, on the sweet side of an ale rather than the sort of bitterness. But it's very drinkable, 4.2%. I think it drinks like that, but it's got a lovely flavour for that 4.2%. Uh, drinks like a dream. And as I said, it's not one of them beers that you want to be sitting on for any more than sort of 20 minutes, I would say. A lot of you may say, fucking 20 minutes for a beer, but as you've got to be joking, get it down in 10 minutes. But I, I, I tend to look at beers and think half an hour for a pint is, is the sort of standard time. 
shoot me down in flames if you're different that's fine but for me half an hour for a beer is a nice sort of steady time for drinking beer yeah you might do it a bit quicker one one time it might take a bit longer but i think this is that sort of beer that you don't want to be sitting on too long but it has the drinkability and the it goes down so easy that i don't think you would be sitting on this beer for too long uh, and I think if you drink it in that sort of time, yeah, it is going to fill you up over time. <clears throat> if you drink three pints of this in an hour, you're going to get the best out of the beer. But I think after an hour, you're going to feel it sitting on you. Uh, but yeah, that is a really nice beer, it's got to be said. Old school all the way. No fancy bells and whistles. What you get in this beer is honest stuff. Uh, and I like it, I like it. I, I think if if you're somewhere around Nottingham and you get this pheasant, pheasant, is it pheasant pheasantry brewery stuff uh, and you haven't had it, give it a go because that is a lovely beer. Uh, old school to the hill, like I say. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Uh, would I drink it again? Absolutely, definitely, and all that lot. I'm waffling now and I'm talking shit. Look, all I'm gonna say is a big thank you to Liam. Pheasantry Brewery, Tank Ale. Lincoln tank out. Give it a bloody taste. Uh, and enjoy it. And that's it. So thanks for watching. See you again soon on another one.